Learning Chinese as a foreign language is a challenge for a lot of students and professionals in Senegal. In the classrooms of the Confucius Institute, the Business Management School and in many other institutions, learners can be found taking a keen interest, although their individual goals may differ. An African student who speaks Chinese is rare to find these days, but this could be helpful when looking for jobs and many other things like soliciting contracts from Chinese partners, and it's worth remembering that China is one of the major world players at the moment. So I'm learning Chinese because it is an important language, and I find it to be one of the most recommended languages in the world after English and French, especially in business or in a professional settings. I don't think it is easy to learn it because of the intonations and the characters. As you know, Chinese is a, a, a great country and we have a great economy. That's why I'm here with my husband and my son. So I encourage my son to learn Chinese because it's um, a good opportunity for his future. I know it's difficult, but the challenge is challenge. Teachers from the Confucius Institute use a number of teaching methods to encourage language yeah. practice and student yeah. participation. I think uh, students also lead the passion to learn Chinese, but not every student always have the passion. So my way to get a guys to have the passion that is louder and faster. I think louder and faster can do better. So my students always speak Chinese really faster than other students. I've been teaching Chinese here for two months. The results are undeniable and I'm satisfied. In the beginning, students didn't know much, but now they can have conversations with the Chinese. In partnership with the Liaoning University and Zhejiang Ocean University of China, the Bodu Management School of Dakar has also included for the past two years Mandarin as part of their curriculum. What makes this institution special is that Mandarin is taught by Penda, a Senegalese national who was trained in China. The Confucius Institute opened its doors to UCAD on December 3, 2012, and to date it has about 1,700 learners. Each year, the institution gives out scholarships that enable the best students to have an in-depth study of the Chinese language in China. Our CEI, University of Dakar, uh, started its first Chinese class in March 2013. And the students here are very good in language learning. The local Senegalese are good in Wolof, their local language, French, their official language, and uh, English, because they are college students. From the growing interest of the Senegalese population in the Chinese language, Mandarin could potentially become an important language in Senegal in years to come. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.